ఆనరబుల్ చీఫ్ మినిస్టర్ శ్రీ వైఎస్ జగన్మోహన్ రెడ్డి గారు డిస్టింగ్విస్ట్ బిజినెస్ టైకూన్స్ ఆన్ ద డయాస్ రెస్పెక్టెడ్ అంబాసిడర్స్ యువర్ ఎక్సలెన్సీస్ కంట్రీ ఇండస్ట్రీ డెలిగేషన్స్ క్యాప్టెన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ది ఇండస్ట్రీ ఇండస్ట్రీ అసోసియేషన్స్ ఇండస్ట్రీ రిప్రజెంటేటివ్స్ అసెంబిల్డ్ టుడే ఫ్రమ్ అక్రాస్ ఇండియా అండ్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ద మీడియా లేడీస్ అండ్ జెంటిల్మెన్ ఎ వెరీ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ టు ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ అండ్ ఎ వార్మ్ వెల్కమ్ టు అవర్ స్టేట్ ఆఫ్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ అండ్ టు అవర్ ఎవర్ బస్లింగ్ ఎవర్ వైబ్రెంట్ ఎవర్ గ్రోయింగ్ ద సిటీ ఆఫ్ డెస్టినీ విశాఖపట్నం యాజ్ వీ హ్యావ్ అసెంబిల్ టుడే ఫర్ ద ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ గ్లోబల్ ఇన్వెస్టర్స్ సమ్మిట్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ త్రీ ఇన్ విశాఖపట్నం యూ విల్ గెట్ అ ఛాన్స్ టు హియర్ అబౌట్ ద రిమార్కబుల్ అడ్వాంటేజెస్ ఆఫ్ ద స్టేట్ ద వేరీడ్ ఆపర్చునిటీస్ దట్ ద స్టేట్ హోల్డ్స్ ఫర్ ఇన్వెస్టర్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ఆల్ వాక్స్ ఆఫ్ లైఫ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ అ వెరీ ప్రౌడ్ మూమెంట్ టు ఈచ్ ఆఫ్ అస్ ఇన్ ద స్టేట్ టు విట్నెస్ ద రిమార్కబుల్ రెస్పాన్స్ టు ద సమ్మిట్ ఫ్రమ్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ బీయింగ్ ఆన్ స్టేజ్ టుడే విత్ హూస్ హూ ఆఫ్ ద ఇండస్ట్రీ ఇండియన్ ఇండస్ట్రీ and seeing the packed plenary hall today and reflect the tremendous confidence that the business ecosystem has in the state of andhra pradesh and also the leadership of a honorable chief minister the dynamic ys jagan mohan reddy garu today andhra pradesh is rapidly growing progressing under his clear directions across all dimensions a honorable chief minister has set a path for balanced regional development and sustainable economic growth inspired by the navaratnalu and elaborate model of governance comprising of a welfare and inclusive development driven society a honorable chief minister has ushered in a paradigm shift in governance in the state his clear message for all of us has been to handhold entrepreneurs from conceptualization to commissioning to marketing their products as a state we are committed to reducing risks for industry and lowering costs for doing business while providing a strong industrial ecosystem for all of you the state of andhra pradesh is blessed with a government with complete political stability with a strong political mandate the governments can drive de- decisions with which are not short sighted but aim at creating a wonderful future in the extended term this kind of stability of government has provided the confidence that the industry requires to thrive in the state focusing long term sustainable growth the state consistent number of ease of ranking one in ease of doing business is clear reflection of this confidence shown by the industries in the state andhra pradesh today offers a bouquet of opportunities of investors across across the board the state offers immense support to firms whether they are looking at taking advantage of global trade winds and investing in manufacturing of electronics bulk drugs textiles whether they are large energy developers looking to tap into the huge potential of the state by building state of the art energy storage systems or green hydrogen production plants the state has always been home to technological savvy youth who are focusing on emerging technologies to solve today's problems or building state of the art medical equipment that can save lives andhra pradesh infrastructure has enabled creation of large clusters to develop petrochemical processing areas pharmaceutical hubs food processing clusters a strategic location helps transport goods both inward into the indian hinterland or outward to east and southeast asia truly advantage andhra pradesh is an apt description of the state a state provides the leadership stability and talent to build for both domestic and global markets parallelly you know we are working now with the ai university like how indian school of business was brought to hyderabad with collaboration from the private sector we are really excited about bringing a sip collaboration on emerging technologies which is centered around ai you know ai in policing ai in politics ai in governance ai in healthcare ai in education i think we're looking at a next frontier of transformation so erstwhile hyderabad was a beneficiary of y2k i believe andhra can benefit from the entire uh, data ai revolution uh, that's going to trans uh, transpire and we're really excited about it 
and i would love to actually have a conversation parallelly uh, on how do we improve uh, you know focus on crime detection because if you look at you know in the last 120 days the incidents that have happened and when we go deep uh, there's a history there's a pattern and that's something that we could have probably understood early on in the entire ecosystem so we understand the power of uh, ai and you know already mr naidu being of course uh, a visionary in the sector uh we're already talking about how to use ai better in terms of uh, women health so there's very clear focus trust area now coming in already and with all humility i would like to say that whatever andhra does under the leadership of mr naidu today india follows tomorrow and this has been the case again and again and i think we can really now set the boundaries and frontier in that sense uh my specific focus area of course is the entire data center ecosystem the ai ecosystem uh, india does not have an vibrant ecosystem i think we have bits and pieces i want to get the entire uh, green uh, energy powered uh, data centers with the entire ai ecosystem focused on the uh, with the help of the ai university and all, do all this in vishakhapatnam that's our uh, trust area uh, to start off so that's the broad vision uh, i think you know we've lost 5 years of momentum no second thoughts about it but i think uh, we've been able to rebuild all that I, i truly believe that last 120 days have been very interesting uh, we've already made a few announcements we're going to make another few announcements in the next 100 days uh, typical to mr naidu uh, we've broken down our governance into 100 day priorities so it's a first 100 days second 100 days third 100 days so with clear objectives targets deadlines we are here uh, we are not going to talk about ease of doing business we are all about speed of doing business and how do we get things done because you know today it's all about multi billion dollar investments that are going into various sectors and if your project gets delayed by 3 6 months your business case is uh, out of the window so we're here to deliver on the speed of doing business so i come with uh, kartika mishra and i'll let him introduce himself okay.